Doctors around the country are thinking about herd immunity against this coronavirus, how it could happen and when. Here's Investigate TV's Lee Zurich with our COVID-19 tracker. A grandmother worried as school reopens. I'm not really for it. I'm just worried that they don't catch it because I'm in that age bracket where, you know, it's not good for me. But I gave them a little small lecture and just say, yes, we know mama. And I said, okay, good. A mother in Louisiana has mixed feelings. I'm not worried, but I am nervous um, for them to come back, especially after everything that's happened with the COVID-19. As universities and schools across the country welcome kids to campus, some experts say we won't really learn if it creates new COVID hotspots until September. But the lessons learned over the past few months might help reduce the number of new cases. I'm fairly convinced that we've learned a lot of the lessons in any type of wave that we're going to see now is going to build even slower than the last two. But what concerns me the most is that it may build and we may not have the uh, fortitude to slow that wave if it starts to build. We may just decide uh, let's keep the momentum going and get ourselves to Thanksgiving or get ourselves to the first week in December, and then we can take a break because of the holidays. The curve is going down. Our COVID-19 tracker shows the daily new case count for the country is falling to numbers we saw back in early July. Across the country, there are very few places that look like they're getting worse right now. This week, the New York Times ran a story suggesting herd immunity might be closer than we think. Herd immunity is when the virus can no longer widely spread because there aren't enough people who can catch it. But Yale doctor Howard Foreman helped author a column in the USA Today writing herd immunity is likely far away and the best path there is from a vaccine. It becomes impossible for me to imagine that any larger community, a borough, as we talk about it in New York, or a town or county or even bigger, a state, could have herd immunity. It is possible, for instance, that a town or a community within Tempe or within Phoenix could have herd immunity. It is impossible to imagine that the entire city has it and certainly not the entire state. Lee Zurich, Valley News Live. There are currently more than 150 vaccines in development and more than 30 are in human trials. A discount shoemaker and seller is making a comeback just in time to save you money. That's next on Valley News Live, 10 at 10.